Do I praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah? Um, hey, how's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing okay. Yeah, man, something that was just on my heart while I was running a couple of errands. About to go back out soon. But uh, I'm, I'm naming this title uh, The Can't Judge or the Don't Judge Me Deception. You know, because you hear that a lot. Oh, can't judge, don't judge me. Only God could judge me, you know. Bullshit. You know, that's why we confess another one another, you know. So, and you got a lot of pastors doing it. A lot of pastors doing that nowadays, too. So, that's why, you know, homosexuals are allowed in the church. And, you know, you got to get a, a faggot uh, choir director. And, you know, Eddie Long's and all of them. But, uh, yeah, you know, and the reason why a lot of pastors uh, talk about that, you know, oh, I can't judge, you know, God loves us all, you know. So, you know, it's like Yahweh Shai said, you worship, you know what I mean, your father, the devil. You are of your father, the devil, you know, which is Esau. And that's what they're doing, you know, because that, that according, you know what I mean, that's what I'm saying. All this, you know, y'all making y'all making the Most High sound too relaxed. Like he okay with everything. If the Most High is okay with everything and not judging everybody, uh, no matter what they do, then what's the point of fearing the Most High? Oh, I could do what I want. People holding their nuts and shit. Like, oh, well, I don't you know. Oh, only God could judge me. That's exactly what's gonna happen. Your ass gonna get judged with fire. You know. Got to walk with everybody. Okay, so if I if I walk in the church right now with a machete, and they would just walk up and just chop, you know, hit him up, chop his head off, chop the pastor's head off, and then rape his wife in front of the congregation, and what I'm gonna say? Oh, don't judge me. You can't judge, you know. And I'm not that type of person. I'm just saying, you know, don't judge me. Only God could judge me, you know. No. And now you got pedophiles, you know, saying it. I was talking to somebody about that, and they was like, oh, no, it's not going to happen. I mean, it's, you know, I mean, he was an Edomite, too. And he was like, oh, it's not going to happen. Oh, it's not a big deal. No, because remember, we said they weren't going to legalize um, gay marriage. We said they weren't going to legalize, you know, uh, you know, transvestite or whatever. Trans that, that bullshit. We said that, that wasn't going to happen. Look what happened. So that is going to happen. If the Most High don't destroy this... Um, this country before beforehand, oh, it's gonna happen. So protect your kid. Woe to those who had children in those days. You gonna really hold tight to? I'm talking to Israel. Hold tight to them kids, man. She homeschool them. I'm sending them out to this bullshit. You know what I mean? The schools ain't shit. They ain't teaching them nothing. Anyway, you know, I'm not saying you know because they make it illegal for your child. You know, they make it illegal for your child not to be in school. You know. Even in homeschool, you know, they have a teacher for that. You know, the parents not allowed to do it themselves. As far as what I know, what I experienced, you know. Yeah, but that whole don't judge and you can't judge bullshit. People say that to just, you know what I mean, so they can keep doing wrong. They can keep living in bullshit. Sin. They can keep doing, you know, abominable things. Eat abominable foods. Make abominable acts. Commit adultery. Be gay. But don't judge. You know, God's not judging us. Yeah, they like to use scripture to manipulate. Because even the devil, the, the enemy, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you know, how I went, you know, got tested. You know, the enemy know the word too. Matter of fact, it's sad to say, but the enemy know the word more than uh, a lot of, uh, a lot more than uh, Jake. Because, Jake, we like getting told the word. We don't pray and meditate. We don't worship in spirit and in truth. We get told somebody else's opinion. Just like that pedophile shit. And guess what, you know, and I like how a brother, you know, brought it to my attention not too long ago. You know, he said, uh, you know, Mary was 15, 16 years old. So now, you know, when a woman gets on her period, that that uh, symbolizes her womanhood. She's she's a woman now. 
but that age is considered pedophile uh, underage now. And I'm not saying I'm no pedophile. I really don't like, you know, little girls. I really don't like into younger women, but I'm saying, but the pedophiles, they like fucking little eight-year-olds and shit and little 10-year-olds and shit and six-year-olds and shit. They would use that. Well, if you use look in the Bible, you know, Mary, she was, you know, a young girl. She wasn't as of age. It ain't in the Bible. I mean, we know we know right from wrong. Cause in the Bible, they didn't say 18 is the, you know, age, you know. Because a lot of, even in ancient like African kingdoms, it was like a man was a, a man at 15, you know. He was a man, period. And a woman had to respect him no matter what her age is. She could have been 40. He could have been 15. She had to respect him as a man as such, humbly. You know, so, you know, the pedophiles are going to start saying, oh, don't judge me. You know, I am who I am and I am, you know, this is how I was made. This is how God made me. I was born this way. So how you, how were you born a pedophile? So you was a pedophile when you was five? You're like, I like, look, come on now. Come on. Israel just falling in it. Because it happens in the hood, too. A lot of little girls get touched. You know, and heard stories. I didn't witness stuff as a child. Happened to stuff that, I mean, most of you know, it's with me. It's never happened to me, but I've witnessed it as a child. Happened to other children. You know. So I can really see, as in, I can look at adults and know who's been touched, who hasn't been, you know what I mean, who's been touched. I can see it. By how they carry themselves. You know. Don't judge me. Only God can judge the fuck out of here. But yeah, man, you know. We're living in perilous times, man. They, and they want to use this truth against us. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of these camps. They'll be, they go right along with the shit. You know what I'm saying? I bet, I guarantee you there's a lot of pedophiles in some of these camps. I bet, guarantee you some faggots in these camps. And they're going to use a, a scripture to try to... Uh, Justify it. That it's okay. So you got a lot of people saying Yahweh shy. So they're going to take words. This is how they manipulate and deceive. They still have an Esau mentality and live as so. But they'll just switch the words up. So instead of saying Jesus Christ, they're going to say Yahweh shy. So by people being deceived, they're trying to learn the truth. They hear somebody say Yahweh shy. Okay, well he is in the truth because he's using the name. And... You know, and only somebody in the truth can really use that name when even most the most high said himself, you know, I never knew you. You know, what I mean, they did miracles and all that in his name, but he ain't never knew him, you know. Okay, y'all got to do your own research. I mean, it's, it's important for us to be on these highways and byways and do these sit downs and for people to listen to us and and. Uh, you know, reach out and stuff. And it's important to listen. Take heed, be humble, and, you know, but do your own research. Read your own word. Ask for discernment. Ask the Holy Spirit to give you, you know what I mean? Understand it. Because he might bring somebody, you know, he will bring somebody along your path because, you know what I mean, to give you your answers that you need. Oh, God loves everyone. No. The fuck? I can say I'm a loving person, but I don't love no pedophile. I think the most high don't have no kids. Let somebody touch my kids. I'm going to be like, oh, it's okay. I love you. I can't judge you. Man, get the fuck out of that soft shit, man. Nah. I might be doing 25 to life because I'm about to kill somebody. If I have a child and they touch my child, I would, I, I'm, I'm going to do that. If I don't get caught, I'm going to kill. I will kill that person. Dump their body in the lake, you know. Hopefully, I won't get found out because it's a righteous deed. I just did a righteous deed. You know, but yeah, that was some of my. I got a few more videos coming. Shout out, shout out to all my brothers out there, man. We support each other, help each other, criticize each other. You know what I mean? Sharpen each other. You know, you know. Shout out.